Hi friends, today's topic name is work and energy. Work and energy. The work done by the sum of all forces acting on particle equal to the change in the kinetic energy of the particle. For example, if any body, if any box or any substance is there, any is there, when you are applying the force, the kinetic energy will change. That's called as a work energy theorem. Then if work energy the work done by a constant force is scalar product and work done by a varying force it is a scalar product and integrals for example if work by a baseball pitcher you see in the picture a baseball pitcher is done work on the ball as he extracted the force over displacement when initial initial velocity of the uh, ball e baseball is v1 equal to 0 when applying the force in into displacement the displacement is 3.5 meters then it gain the velocity 44 meters per seconds then the work e is equal to the change of kinetic energy then another example work done by a constant force here work is indicated with the capital W how effect is force in a, in moving a body the woman applying the force on the box F the force is F and the angle is theta the displacement is D then the value of work equal to F cos theta into D the theta is the angle between the the box and applying force the distance is the starting position and the ending position between the value is that means this value is d and the applying force is f when w equal to f cos theta into d and another example it is a very very um, good example and uh, uh, it is a some problematic example if you if you a person a person hold the bag opposite direction to the gravitation force then he do the some he done by the some work but according to the calculation the work is zero the person is carry bag for example uh, he carry the bag opposite side to the uh, gravitation field he done the some work in physically but according to the mathematical function the special case it is a special case the work done by the person is zero because the formula is wp is equal to the person f, f is a suffix is nothing but indicate the person so force uh, respect to the person and d is the displacement cos theta theta into theta equal to 90 degrees opposite to the 90 degrees uh, d is for example moving some distance 10 meters or 20 meters but uh, it uh, physically done by the work but mathematically the work is zero and also the gravitation force also equal to zero because cos 90 equal to zero that means the worker does not done the done by the person and next one uh, example for example if you calculate the uh, some value a 50 kg cake crate is full 40 meters 40 meters by a constant force extended uh, with the uh, uh, applying the for, uh, force with the uh, help of the person that means f suffix p equal to 100 newtons and uh, the theta is equal to 37 degrees by a person a friction force uh, the friction force is uh, is nothing but a when you uh, the surface and between the surface and the body uh, it, it can cannot uh, uh, move the uh, substance so that is the friction force the friction force uh, f of suffix f is equal to 50 newtons is extended to the crate determine the work done by each force acting on the crate in this example the friction force he, he given the friction force and the uh, kg that means the m value it, it already given and g value we know that and, uh, and next one is the theta the applied force 
the displacement is 40 meters then the forces are like uh, uh, you see this uh, table so the net force in in the net force in, uh, involved the applied force applied force is nothing but in this case we are using the f of p because the applied force is uh, f p with the person and g is a gravitational force and f is a friction force and uh, n is a normal force then the formula is net force is equal to f p plus f g plus f f plus f n in this example then we calculate the values with the help of the the previous formula then what uh, what's a uh, wp w respect to phi is equal to fp dot cos theta theta is nothing but 37 degrees and the friction force along with the uh, surface that means the value is 9 180 degrees the value is 180 degrees and next one is the gravitation force always downside then the value is uh, theta value is 90 degrees then normal force also uh, upward direction the uh, theta is equal to 90 degrees both are zero and we calculate the only first and second so then the value is person person applying the, the force on the body or substance uh, the value equal to uh, 3195 joules and the friction force always uh, opposite to the applied force applied force or person force then wf is equal to minus 2000 joules then the final value is equal to the value is equal to net value or final value equal to 1195 joules.